action. What kind of action are you looking for? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name's Jonathan. I am the co-founder and CEO of Lyft. Hi, I'm uh, Gidon. I'm co-founder with Jonathan. We started an airline in 90 days. A year ago, July 2020, I get a call from Jonathan. By that time, we, we, could, um, we could meet. He came into my house with his mask on and <laughs> we uh, had a great conversation about possibilities. I remember yeah. sitting down yeah. and meeting you for the first time. Lindy was also there yeah. and she made oh, wow. coffee. John had already stand, uh, stood up to leave and said, I've been thinking about this airline project <laughs> and his, his eyes actually lit up. He sat down again and that was the start of Lyft. It's really difficult to come up with a name for something new that, that's meaningful and relevant. Kind of had an idea, what about if we open it up to South Africa to come up with our name? And had this incredible response of 25,000 names. Now let me be honest, a lot of them were terrible. <laughs> Plainy uh, McPlainface. Plainy McPlainface was uh, bottom of the list. Jay Rainey was uh, <laughs> quite a fun one. And then there was this name that popped out called Lift, which just resonated straight away. But it really was about collaboration. If you've ever had to try and change or adjust your flight, you'll know it's an unbelievably painful and very expensive task. We need to be completely customer focused. How do we do that? Well, make it super easy to change your flight ticket as your plans change. The one thing I've never been able to do is get a good cup of coffee on board one of my flights. The first thing we wanted to do was find where can we get someone to help us with a great cup of coffee. And we had to look no further than VDE Cafe. The other thing we wanted to do is for afternoons, offer a really great glass of wine and, and help people unwind as they're heading back from whatever meetings they've been at. We decided to go in a different direction. No one's wearing polyester suits. Instead, we are dressed by Superbolist, which really, really has opened up exciting opportunities and options for the team, and they're super excited. Our view is, if the team is comfortable and excited about the clothes that they're wearing, it will allow their personalities to shine through, and ultimately, that's gonna result in customers having the best experience when they're flying with Lyft. We've just been so lucky to attract the most incredible people. An airline is a people business. We have across the spectrum, whether it's our pilots, our cabin crew, our ground staff, our maintenance people, our team at head office running the marketing revenue management, they're thinking about our customers. And that's where this customer obsessed culture comes from and really is what Lyft is all about. Now I grew up around aeroplanes as a kid. I was always fascinated by aeroplanes and the one type of aeroplane that caught my imagination was an Airbus. And we're the only operator of Airbus aircraft in the region. It's just a beautiful, reliable, safe aeroplane. When you walk into an Airbus, there's something special about it. When you walk into the cockpit of an Airbus, there's not a lot of buttons and dials. It's just so simply designed and just gives you the feeling that, you know, at the cutting edge of technology and has been for many, many decades. We've been through such a tough time in this country with COVID. People are feeling down, hopeless, and we wanted to find a way to change that. South Africa happens to have the most incredibly talented artistic community who themselves have suffered more than most through COVID. That's why we've created this platform for these incredible artists to come and perform, share their talents with our customers, starting off with our beautiful theme song by Zolani, which really is the start of what we hope to be a platform for artists in the future. Divine Mahara who is an exceptionally talented artist. The idea was for him to launch his album at 30,000 feet, and it actually was his first ever time on an aeroplane. Didn't need to plug anything into the aeroplane. We had a silent disco. Everyone had their own set of headphones. So it was really an amazing experience. I think the beauty of our model is we've been able to build it on a very flexible and low cost base, at the same time offering a really premium um, experience. With that in mind, we are launching a premium service, which I'm very excited about. The whole team has come together. We've rethought what premium means. It's more space, it's more comfort, just a step up in terms of the food and beverage service that they'll have. We've looked at it and everyone said, what would I want in terms of premium? And we've tried to build all of those things together. And I think it's the diverse opinion and process that we've been through that is gonna really make this product a huge success. 
Thousands of flights, hundreds of thousands of passengers have been moved on time 98% of the time. Down a silent disco, launched a theme song with Zolani. We fly small dogs, which I think is awesome. Chaos, terrifying, incredible. Exhilarating, meaningful. What's another word for terrifying? <laughs> Daunting. Daunting. Thank you for your support, your encouragement. We're so excited to be continuing this journey and can't wait to welcome you on board.